Okay, users and the students offline here. We are starting with another part of this, in fact, last part of second unit, and that is buffer. The introduction was given in the earlier chapter or other earlier lecture, right? So what we'll discuss today is buffer. What buffer is? This is topic number 2.5. Buffer. We will also discuss its definition did i dictate you the definition in the earlier lecture me tumhara definition dili hoti ka buffer chi nahi so we'll discuss how can you define buffer then we'll try to understand its concept what is the concept why do you need it how do you use it and so on so concept of the buffer then we'll see what happens when you use buffers so what are the functions of these buffers then we'll also talk about different types of buffers there can be acidic buffers there can be basic buffers there can be neutral buffers so we'll talk about the basic types of buffers as well and lastly we will talk about something which is called as buffering capacity so youtube users thank you trupti voice is clear thank you good so uh, you that is what i was about to ask on youtube the audio audio is clear or not so trupti already says that the voice is clear that she is great to hear so now we'll start with what we call as buffer what is buffering capacity what is the concept what are the applications so first thing that can be asked in your examination that you should know is how can you define a buffer in your chemistry classes earlier maybe in sy maybe in fy or even in class 12 or so you would have learned what buffer is if you have studied ph you would also have studied buffer buffer is a solution which resists the change in ph simple concept buffer is a solution which resist resist means what i do not want to change my position i am standing here right i am standing right in front of the camera i do not want to move from here but if prathamesh wants me to move can he move me from here he will have to push me because i do not want to move so when i am not willing to do something i'm showing resistance tala mantat resistance mala nahi karaycha madha resistance hai resistance manje virodh so when there is a solution which shows a resistance resistance virodh kasha sathi resistance for change in ph madha 6.8 ph hai mala 6.9 nahi hou dyaycha hai i do not want to make it 6.7 also i want to keep it 6.8 only such a solution is called as buffer but then the question is how do you make such a solution how will you make such a solution which uh, i mean the ph of which cannot be altered that's a ph badalta yet nahi as a solution kasa karna tumhi tayar so the simplest way of making a buffer is mix a weak acid with its salt or a weak base with its salt and that is what we started discussing in the earlier lecture where i told you that when you add a base in an acid what you get is salt and water and so this we are doing for example is you take hydrochloric acid add a strong base to it in a wedge So what you get is NaCl, which is salt sodium chloride, and water. Such a reaction is called as neutralization reaction. Why do we call this neutralization reaction? Because acid reacts with base neutral. If you want to understand what is a neutralization reaction, the simplest example is आग लगाओ पानी डाल. tikha khao shakkar khao neutralization so two extremes one is acid another is base ek gussa hai ek shant hai 
दो गुस्से वाले आ गए तो पति पत्नी बर्तन फेंक रहे मार रहे पर पति कितना भी गुस्सा पत्नी कितना भी गुस्सा करे पति नहीं करते पत्नी कितना भी गुस्सा करे पति को हम बोलते रहे न्यूट्रलाइजेशन झगड़े नहीं हो रहे घर में क्योंकि दूसरा चांस है आणि बायको भांडत्या जोर जोरात ओरडत्या नवऱ्याला एवढी हिंमत तुझी अशी कशी बोलली निघून जा घराच्या बाहेर दान 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 आणि दोघांचा राग कुठे निघाला हे इकडे ये तुला पोराला दिली तो गेला रडत काय मग न्यूट्रल झालं सो वेन टू एक्स्ट्रीम्स एक थंड गार आणि एक दोघा कडकडा गरम दोघे एकत्र आले थंड दॅट इज न्यूट्रलायझेशन सो ऍसिड अँड बेसिस वेल कम टुगेदर टू मेक सॉल्ट and water so this happens that is buffer formation happens when you do it with a weak acid and corresponding salt to bring them together or weak base and its corresponding salt that happen board is not seen clear sir so i try to bring it to Uh, Trupti, try to listen to what I am saying. Even if board is not visible clearly, try to listen to what I am saying. I will stand the other way around. So now try to find out a weak acid for that matter. A weak acid, upon atvai ka prayatna toh. And from our earlier lectures, we remember what is a weak acid. For example, simplest example. We always give simple examples so that you can understand it. So what we do is. we have acetic acid for those online who probably cannot see the board clearly i am repeating acetic acid ch3 cooh which is ethanoic acid as per i p s c no many things now try to add some base to it to this weak acid what is base for example sodium hydroxide right you added a base to a weak acid and we know now that when we add a base to acid a salt will be formed so now the salt here that would be formed is ch3coo minus and na plus will come together to form something called as sodium acetate and this oh minus and h plus will come together to form h2o in organic chemistry the math nahi so first break down na oh oh minus bada bada break down acid h plus bada bada आणि मागच्या पानावर कधी लिहायचं नसतं पिंगर सरांची एक वही असते त्याच्या सुरुवातीपासूनच लिहायचं असत ज्याला बोललं त्याला लागू तेवढा सन्मान शिक्षकाला द्यायचा सर तुमच्या नावाची वय घरी कशी आहे घरून येताना आपण काळजी घ्यायची नाही ना की अरे सरांचा लेख सरांना वही झालं मग काळजी झालं की राहतो फॉलोड एनी प्रॉब्लम विथ दिस नो सिमिलरली वी कैन डू इट फॉर अ वीक बेस दिस इज वीक एसिड एंड इट्स सॉल्ट राइट सो नाउ वी हैव अ पेयर ऑफ वीक एसिड विथ अ सॉल्ट एंड दैट पेयर इज एसिडिक एसिड एंड सोडियम 
acetate these two can be used to make a buffer jodi gadi see when two people are compatible na nobody can break their string bolta na asa 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 amcha samaj ke bolta jeevalas maitri ni aha tu sami karta mon jeevalas maitra nahi manoj kumar to jeevalas maitri ni aha ye ekatra bas te ekatra bas jeevalas maitri मायाचारे हाइड्रोक्लोरिकोनियमोनियमोक्साइड it reacts with an acid and when it reacts with an acid a salt is formed and water is released correct any confusion in this atomic samastha kai confusion ha hydrogen hcl matla it will be a it is an acid aaya jhara to hydrogen ke upar aur chloride ke upar right to hydrogen ke upar jhara jhara ke upar aata hai to hydroxyl group मेरा पिया घर आया और जैसा पिया घर आया तो मैं चलो घूम ले तो हाइड्रोजन एंड ओ एच माइनस आयन चले घूम ले वाटर बहने लगे एंड अमोनियम क्लोराइड तो ते वाले तुम्हारी जोड़ी पर की तो हम क्यों अकेले रहे अमोनियम और क्लोराइड के साथ में गए देन में अमोनियम क्लोराइड नाउ दिस पेयर अ वीक बेस अमोनियम हाइड्रोक्साइड and its salt ammonium chloride will make buffer got it so weak acid and its salt they can make buffer weak base and its salt they also can make buffer follow this so if you have not written it you can please write it down my friends on youtube probably are not even so now and i can bring it closer to them so acetic acid and sodium acetate is one layer of a weak acid with a salt they can make buffer and ammonium hydroxide a weak base with its salt ammonium chloride they also can I hope you people are writing it. And then now we can come down to the definition of buffer. So now we can write down the definition of the buffer. Write down. a buffer is a mixture of salt and acid or salt and base understand salt and acid salt and base which resists and you understood what is the meaning of resist so if i am 6.8 ph solution i do not want to be 6.7 or 6.9 i want to be 6.8 that is resistance i do not want to change which resists the change in 
PH. And when you write PH, ensure that you are writing small p, capital H. Good. So there is this change in pH on dilution. What is dilution? Then you have solvent to a solution. On dilution or when a small quantity of acid or alkali is added to it. So this is one way of defining it. Alternatively, you can write down another small definition. A buffer is a system made of a weak acid and its salt. Or a weak base and its salt. So as to keep the buffer of the solution. So the buffer so as to keep the pH of the solution constant. Okay, then so this is how you can define buffer. Now going further, you can ask question that how and why this is happening when when you're mixing acetic acid and its salt you are mixing ammonium hydroxide and its salt how is this happening so let us consider this situation where you are adding acetic acid and sodium acid what might be happening inside the solution when acetic acid and sodium acid so solution one of the apples solution let us try to imagine that okay so i'm putting it on the board to write a couple of equations now forget sodium hydroxide which you have added to sodium acetic acid reaction acetic acid over sodium hydroxide to be mixed here Product there one of the sodium acetate. So, how is the interest of the sodium acetate and acetic acid? So, the two of them are in the solution. Right? So, we'll try to add acetic acid with sodium acetate. What will happen to the solution? So, we have Acetic acid, which is a weak base, you have put it in a solution, the buffer solution, the buffer system that you are trying to create. When it goes into solution, it will create acetate ion and hydrogen ion. So no big deal in this. This is an acid, so obviously it will give H plus ion. Acid has H plus ion. No big problem in that. But at the same time, you also have added, because you want to make buffer, the salt of this weak acid, which is sodium acid. Buffer pair karna sakhi, ya weak acid barobar to make salt add area acid, sa, which is sodium acid in this case. Got it. This will again dissociate
Right. So what you effectively see that this solution has acetic ions coming from acetic acid also and acetic ions coming from sodium acetate also. So there are lots of acetate ions in the solution. Lots of acetate ions in the solution. You getting why? Because young mm -hmm. kids and mother who acetate ions built up the solution. And yet, you can have a power of a good point as you get ions meant as a solution. So, effectively, after these two reactions, what is happening is please write down the acetate ions are produced from both. Sodium acetate and acetic acid. Okay. The dissociation of Sodium acetate Sodium acetate is the salt. The dissociation of sodium acetate, that means the second reaction, is more as compared to The acid. Can somebody tell me why? We just statement after the middle of it. Just statements are for it. The heat reaction of it. Heat dissociation second equation of it. This is more as compared to this dissociation. Can somebody tell me why? Sodium acid takes a dissociation. Acid charge dissociation takes a just a way. Second dissociation is more as compared to one. Can somebody tell me why? What is the nature of this acid? Yes, yes, those things. It is not possible to use Weak acid. So weak acid is the dissociation. Kaisa hota hai? Strong hota hai. Isliye to weak acid. Strong associate acids the dissociate completely. Weak acids they do not completely dissociate. That is why they are called as weak acids. Their dissociation constants is like that. Got the point. So this is a weak acid. So it will dissociate slowly. It will dissociate less. But it is strongly salt. It dissociate more. So obviously it continues ahead. The sentence was the dissociation of sodium acetate is more as compared to or than the acid. So more acetate ions are produced from the salt. More acetate ions are produced from the salt. Got the point? So which solution or which substance is providing acetate ions more to the solution? Sodium acetate is providing more acetate ion into the solution. Now can somebody come here and write down the henderson hasselbalch equation which we have discussed in the earlier unit? Apart from Maya, anybody else? Or at least do one thing, read it and then come on to the board and write down so that you will learn it. Anybody else? I want different people, no? Everybody should participate. 
तुम्ही साधा सांगा असता परत का नाही असतात मे साधता येईल आणि वाचून घे हँडलसन ह्या सगळ्या इक्वेशन मग येऊन इथे लिहिली सी इनिशियली वॉट यू हॅपन सी दिस इज अ प्रॉसेस ऑफ लर्निंग लर्निंग ची प्रोसेस कशी असते पहिले आपण हात धरून शिकवतो गिरवायला ए कसा लिहायचा बी कसा लिहायचा सी कसा लिहायचा मग त्याला म्हणतो आता तू लिहून बघ मग देअर आफ्टर फाईन कंटे लहान बाळ चालायला शिकतो तेव्हा त्याचा बोट धरून आपण हळूहळू बाबा गाडी देतो आधी त्याला मग बोट धरून चालायला शिकवतो मग म्हणतो जा सो आय टोल टू रीड इट फर्स्ट कम डाऊन अँड राईट इट सो वी लर्न आय स्पीक अ सेंटेन्स इन मलयालम अँड आज यू हाऊ मेनी ऑफ यू अंडरस्टँड इट समज गया ना सबको मी जो बोलव सब समज गया सबको समजला ना सगळ्यांना निंगळ करते चेंज आठवत नाही आहे मोले मोले म्हणजे लाळा नाही बाळा निंगळ करते चेंज आठवत नाही समज गे समज काय बोललो नाही एवढं मलयाला कुठे येतं तुला सो आता इफ यू हॅव नॉट अंडरस्टूड मलयालम आर यू स्टुपिड फेलो नो देन इफ आय कॅन स्पीक वन सेंटेन्स इन मलयाली एम आय इंटेलिजंट नॉट बिकॉज आय अंडरस्टँड वन सेंटेन्स तू बोल मूर्ख असे बोलणार बट नॉट बिकॉज आय अंडरस्टँड वन सेंटेन्स इन मलयालम आय कॅन नॉट बी इंटेलिजंट राईट इट जस्ट बिकॉज आय लर्न इट so similarly if you learn you gradually know things so ata to part karun alele let us see what prathamesh writes writes here anderson has an equation for statement right now ne ha ha reaction yes equation manta ta reaction hi aste mathematical equations ha so write it down you you people are watching you will get the viral will become viral YouTube people, my subscribers, see my student Pratamesh is writing Henderson has a lot of equations. लॉक वगैरे काही 
Okay, so Najmu, I hear. A buddy, I am crystal letters may I lick the Kaye. Trupti is giving few answers on YouTube. Thank you. Okay, so ये minus इधर नहीं आएगा त्रुप्ति जी, minus अंदर त्रुप्ति नहीं sorry, नज़मु जी ये अंदर आएगा, ठीक है उसका concentration है, right? So what according to नज़मु ये लिखा है भाई, प्रथम इस तुम्हारे दिल में है, हाँ हम आपके लिए पहला परिस्थिति this is another problem, मैं तुम्हारा अभ्यास कैसे कराया था ये शिक्षक वधर को, प्रश्न काया है अन्य के बारे में ये माइक नस्ता, � and that's a fact that you can do the reason of 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 the पण तेही स्ट्राइक होत नहीं है ऐसा वर्ग अर्थ है अपन वर्ग शून्यत हो तो शून्यत मंजे माझा लक्ष्य इतना होता है मैं बसले बसले कई तरी दूसरा स्वीचार करत हो तो बाहर कोणा चावा जेता था है तो आला का ती आली का दुपारी कायल जो छुट्टी कदी होना निवन्नु कौन जिंकना मोदी है ना कि राहुल गांधी as a student, my responsibility is to concentrate on what is being taught. Simple. But they can have a job very powerful. So, Chata Kamla and Chata Karachi, Pratan and the administration, some way, teacher, the Shikwaja, student, the Shikaja, Rashkar and the Rashkar. Up and back again, they can do a lesson. So, Najuku says that P is equal to PKA plus log of conjugate basis concentration divided by concentration of the acid. So we can use this for acidic buffer only. So acidic buffer only, remember. Acidic acid and sodium acidic acid are Why acidic buffer? Because acidic acid is also conjugate acid ions. And sodium acetate is also giving acetate ions. So I have a as acetate buffer. So I will just replace this with concentration of acetate ions, which is the conjugate base in this case, and concentration of acetate Am I right? Acetic ions and it. Pahu no pata nina prayat na karaita. It may try in yet another upper lavaita. And it will under the laulia nunta mug blackboard of check karaita madhurta bagu, the sons of mother natural. That exercise to your brain is very important. Copying is very simple. Let these NCC people move away, then we'll continue on. Could you understand the song? So that Henderson has a big has a bad equation holds importance in calculation of of the buffer. buffer Remember, buffer is a solution which will resist change in pH. So, what I have pH is a buffer solution. I have to pH is a So, pH value of the acid, of course, is the constant is known. The subtractor is 1.8 into the acid for minus 5 of acetic acid. So, that will still be 1.8 into the acid for minus 5 here. Sorry, pH value. 
But the pH formula says, EKI is known to you this constant. The tap pH study, mala acetate ions are concentration, tithia sour. Acetic acids are concentration, tithia sour. Theta sour is bundled at the pH value. Are you doing what I am trying to say? PK is constant, right? So this part is not going to change. You want buffer of different pH. So what are they doing? They are capacity to buffer by 41 to 5 point pH of buffer by 41 to 6 point pH of buffer by 41 to 5 point pH of buffer by So buffer can change. The capacity of the pH of a buffer can change. And how do you change it? You keep on changing it. Give buffer the buffer. So if you keep on changing this, you can get buffers of different pH. And the person has to back equations, application. Okay. Now write down what are the functions of buffers. If buffers happen there to the host, the yens functions kaya head. Applications sky ahead, Kima importance sky ahead. So, application number one first or function number one. Here there are many substances having some of them. You can write down many substances, many pharmaceutical substances, many medicines that come in market. They need to be kept at a desired pH. Pratek Aushad Jahe, the effective person has a Tharavik pH or a Slavaj. Among Kadigari Kaka, the Kadis solution, Mother Zeta Sadota. It needs to be at a constant pH to be effective. The pH varies, Halasa, it will not be effective. But under such cases, the Aushad has a buffer Madhun Javi Dandas. Right? Aushada the Tema's effective as 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 the Neutralizers, added neutralizers, added stabilizers, as the Tema's effective as the Tema's effective as the Tema's effective as so they keep current expiry data. One year, two years, three years, four years, two years, the composition, the pH, the level of the these things are added. So the first application is in pharmaceutical preparations. Pharmaceutical spelling is P H A R M A Pharma. Pharmaceutical C E U C E U T I C A L S. Pharmaceutical applications, the buffers, the buffers ensure E N S U R E ensure मंजे खात्री करता E N S U R E ensure stable pH conditions. Stable pH conditions for active compounds. Active compounds. Active compounds when the Aushadi Aplia Sharida La Dichi Ahe, the Aushadi stable condition with the Rai Paja. They are always reactive, right? So they stable Rahile Paja, Aplia Sharida Made Gaila Paranta. So, for that matter, buffers can be used in pharmaceutical industry. This is application number one. Application number two is a property. I have a molecule, I have a substance, and the property of solubility. Solubility is to what extent it can be dissolved in a given solvent. Kiti pramanathe virgharu shakta. That is called as solubility. So that can also vary depending upon the solvent. The solvent kasa hai, tacha pramanathe solubility patu shakta. Right? And the solubility is also determined by pH. The pH will depend on the stagi ekhadi vastu kiti soluble acid. So write down the second function. The solubility. 
of many compounds is controlled by providing by providing suitable ph so at certain ph some some components can be soluble and they may not be soluble at another ph right so at given ph the component can be soluble manun aplyala tala solubility vadhaychi asel kima soluble karaycha asel so you can bring it to a certain ph that is second third application is colors of many compounds are also are also ph dependent colors of many compounds are also ph dependent so this can be very very beneficial in dye industry dye industry means color you add ammonia in your hair dye don't use it ever सगळं पांढरं झालं तरी चालेल बट डोंट यू एव्हर यूज एनी कलर नॉट इन द नेम ऑफ फॅशन ऑल्सो नो गार्नियर नो नथिंग नथिंग एनी कलर दॅट यू आर युजिंग काही दिवसात टक्कल पडेल आणि बाकीचे मुळापासून पांढरे होते डोंट एव्हर यूज एनी डाय फॉर दॅट मॅटर राईट नाव आय गिव्ह यू सिम्पलेस्ट एक्झाम्पल देर वॉज अ टेस्ट इन युअर केमिस्ट्री ऍस एड बेसिक रेडिकल आयडेंटिफिकेशन होत ना सॉल्व दिले आणि ओळखा होते ना इंटरफेरिंग रेडिकल्स वगैरे ऑक्सिडेट डाल दिया इंटरफेरिंग रेडिकल्स करो जिंक आहे का कार्बोनेट आहे का कुठ तो याद आहे ना का पाहू घ्या केमिस्ट्री नव्हतंच एलियन समथिंग सो आय रिमेंबर देर वॉज अ टेस्ट फॉर नायट्रेट अँड वेन यू वुड पुट एसिड टू इट अलॉंग द वॉल ऑफ द टेस्ट यू अ रेड रोज रिंग वॉज फॉर मुझे मेरी मध्य प्रदेश में की लैब याद आ रही तुमको यहाँ की आ रही की नहीं है डू नॉट आ रहे मुझे तो याद आ रही टेस्ट्यू अलॉन्ग द साइड ऑफ द टेस्ट्यू एसिड वॉज फोर एंड रेड रोज रेड रिंग वॉज फॉर्म नाइट्रेट का टेस्ट था सो वेन यू एड एसिड एट सर्टन पी एच रेड कलर का वाई नॉट समथिंग एसिड पी एच राइट सो कलर्स डाइज डी वाई एस डाइज are important in many industries and these mainly related to ph these can be related to ph so color of many compounds are ph dependent okay then come down to the next application and write ph is ph ph is not a ph is very important in physiological conditions or functions in physiological functions liya conditions na kadiyo in physiological functions in physiological functions such as such as digestion such as digestion then in physiological conditions such as digestion so i've given you a simple example few days back where we were talking about the digestion of starch in the mouth there is an enzyme called as saliva amylase which is secreted in my saliva majha ladi madhe ek enzyme ahe saliva amylase so that enzyme functions as a neutral pH around neutral pH similarly there is an enzyme present in my stomach which is called as pepsin now this enzyme pepsin it works under a very acidic ph in my stomach around 2 then there is third enzyme in the intestine which is pepsin which
which works at a pH of 8.2, which is basic. So neutral, acidic, and basic. So many physiological functions. They take place at a given pH. And therefore, buffers become very, very important. You cannot even change the pH of your blood. And I'll give you an example how the pH in the blood can be maintained later on. Right? So, some of the applications of pH. Write one more. Penicillin. Do you know what is penicillin? Have you ever come across the name penicillin? Edward Jenner, something like that. Who discovered penicillin? Penicillin is a medicine. Now go back and found out, find out the history of penicillin. And you do not give up. What was that? I just remember that it was on the time. Ah, yes. So after after dictating this sentence. So another homework. Find out the history of penicillin. The only hint is penicillin is a medicine. Yes, Pradeep. Yes, Pranal. Uh, I mean Trupti Mokal Karik that is an antibiotic. But the rest of you find it out. What is penicillin? Who discovered it? What is its use? When it was done? So penicillin is stabilized. Stabilized manje. Penicillin is stabilized using the addition of the addition of carbonates followed done so these were the applications of buffer now give a simple example if time permits yes we have two or three uh, minutes but we will take this example and then stop Yes. The simplest example, you have to keep the pH inside your blood also as constant. And if you remember, blood is something that is carrying oxygen and carbon dioxide also. So when we inhale the air, oxygen is taken up in the lungs. Then this oxygen diffuses into the blood, combines with hemoglobin. Hemoglobin takes this oxygen to all the cells. All the cells use this oxygen, burn the food, and in the process, carbon dioxide is produced. Now, this carbon dioxide is released back into the blood. Blood takes it to the lungs, and lungs then pour it out. And when we exhale carbon dioxide, this is, this is the whole cycle of how oxygen and carbon dioxide are transported using the blood, right? Now the question is, then when this carbon dioxide is entering into the blood, which is a liquid, and since it is a liquid, it has water, so this carbon dioxide can simply react with water to form H2CO3, and I have repeated it many times now, H2CO3 is carbonic acid. So every time this carbon dioxide from the cells enters into the blood, carbonic acid will be formed. And so blood may become acidic every time. Pratik Vela blood ha acidic ho shakto. Then what is done? How to keep that pH inside the blood constant? So write down the last sentence for the day. 
the concentration of carbonic acid this is carbonic acid h2po3 the concentration of carbonic acid is 0.0012 molar 0.0012 molar remember i told you earlier also after the decimal you have to pronounce every number you cannot call it 0.12 molar 0.0012 molar and then therefore when you pronounce your percentages no 72.78 it is wrong 72.78 percent because every number that comes after decimal has its value right so 0.0012 molar so carbonic acid the concentration rakta madhe evda and the concentration of bicarbonate ion now where is bicarbonate ion this h2co3 it dissociates into hco3 minus and h plus this is bicarbonate ion so the concentration of bicarbonate ion is 0.024 molar so which is more concentration of bicarbonate ion is more 0.024 molar and this is 0.0012 molar. The concentration of bicarbonate ion is 0.024 molar. Applying Henderson-Hasselbalch equation. आता परंतु the Henderson and Hasselbalch the equation part का सवाल आया थे. the ph of blood comes out to be 7.7 so near neutral slightly alkaline near neutral the ph of blood comes out to be 7.7 if you put the values you know the concentration of bicarbonate ion concentration of carbonic acid ta value of carbonic acid in the henderson as well then you will get the ph of blood is 7.7 what does that mean why i am giving you this example that to keep the concentration ph of the blood constant the concentration of bicarbonate ion and carbonic acid in the blood has need to be maintained all the time the head only concentration to be maintained kar rahela rakta mate the ph of the blood will always remain 7.7 म्हणून ती बफर मधली जी इक्वेशन मी तुम्हाला दिली हँडरसन हॅसल लाईन इक्वेशन मध्ये देर आय टोल्ड यू इफ वॉन्ट अ डिझायर्ड पी एच तुम्हाला जर डिझायर्ड पी एच हवा असेल तर वरचा आणि खालचं कॉन्सन्ट्रेशन तुम्ही ऍडजस्ट करा सो हिअर द सिस्टम द बॉडी सिस्टम हॅज ऍडजस्टेड द कॉन्सन्ट्रेशन ऑफ बाय कार्बोनेट आयन अँड दॅसिड कॉन्ज्युगेट बेस अँड इट्स ऍसिड सो दॅट द पी एच ऑफ द ब्लड ऑलवेज रिमेन्स अराउंड सेव्हन पॉइंट हॅव यू अंडरस्ट so this is how in the biological system the phs are maintained follow this okay so with this it is 11 we will stop today's lecture and the next lecture again you will describe me what arrhenius bronsted lowry and lewis concept of acid base number 1 number 2 discovery of penicillin that is at 11 am tomorrow so you you friends will close the lecture thank you very much for joining and we'll see you tomorrow at 11 maya attendance